up next is no longer Java Jazz, but the John Dennell Show. You're listening to WCCP, the sound of the City College of Passaic, broadcasting on 87.9. And you're listening to the longest running radio show on WCCP, the John Gentle Show. I'm your host, John Gentle. Um, I'm joined here by my producer in training, a youngster named Enid. Uh, how are you this morning? Eve, Eva, but I'm doing, I'm doing well. Good. Eva was, is my name, I meant. Oh, I thought that's slang. Forget Mona Lisa's smile. The Northern Lights were most sublime. Because Mary Lou Hanna is and was the beauty of our time. That's right. Today, I'm celebrating woman. <clears throat> if you'll just uh, allow me to... Uh... <clears throat> How do I look, Aja? Eva, um, you know, it's like mostly, most of the listeners are on, it's like the radio, not, well, why not don't you, many people. Why don't you tell them what I'm wearing? It's like a cow udder hat. It's a, it's a, I don't even know if I could say it on the, on the, uh, on the radio. It's a vagina hat. Oh, it's a pussy hat. This is, this is, uh, for you and, and, and your kind. Hmm. Well, thank you for thank you for wearing it. I love women. <laughs> um, Diane Keaton, Terry Gross, Carol King, Young, Sally Field, uh, Eve Babbitts, may she rest in peace. And of course, uh, last week, if you'll remember, I I paid tribute to one of the most beautiful and uh, smartest women of all time, Miss Hot Lips Houlihan. And I want to make an, a, hopefully a permanent addition to the studio here. <clears throat> How do you like that? I might have to take it down after just when other people use the studio. Now I think I think maybe we could call it the Hot Lips Houlihan, uh, or if we want to, you know, refer to the, her, her real name, Loretta Swit Studio. Like, hey, we're going down to the Swit. We're gonna play some rock music. Just because it's like a shared space, we can't really. We can't Someone it, once said. Sex is the most fun you can have without laughing. That was Woody Allen, who is uh, somebody who appreciates women just as much as I do. Who, who is your favorite woman? I love uh, Woody Allen's like child's bride, Su oh, Yun. Sun Yi. Sun Yi. Yeah. She is a, actually a, a brave, a smart woman. And, you know, uh, behind every good man that's what they say and he's a really great man last time I was inside of a woman it was the Statue of Liberty and that John uh, yes Ray, you just forgot to do the announcement about the basketball team uh, I'm not a sports person a lot of these uh, radio shows on this network they do the concert calendar I recently just saw the Fetching Miss Maybell and her uh, uh, jazz age artistes at the Zinc Bar. So I am no stranger to uh, seeing live music in person, the sonic arts, if you will. So uh, here's uh, what I have um, just uh, from from this. This is what other other people read on Monday. Catch Manhattan Transfer at the uh, Mayo Performing Arts Center in Morristown. Anya, do you want to see a. Uh, the Manhattan transfer on Monday? Um, I think I am going to a party. On Tuesday, you could see uh, David Steris. I've heard good things about this kid. He's speaking at the State Theater in New Brunswick, New Jersey. On Wednesday, Ricky Rockman is live at the Starland Ballroom. So if you're a fan of her music or just ballroom dancing in general, uh, you could go check that out. Uh <laughs> <laughs> this Thursday, uh, the Teachers Gone Bad Tour. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're coming to the Bananas Comedy Club in Rutherford, New Jersey. They should actually get me on there. I could do uh, some stand-up comedy, right? Do you like stand-up comedy? All the time, it's just, like, lame and offensive. Well, next night, you could see Steve Renazisi. 
also it's Bananas Comedy Club. If you want a two nights of fun comedy, I gotta check out this Teacher's Gone Bad tour. Because some, some people call me a bad teacher. And not because I educate poorly, but because I'm just a little bit of a devil. Uh, Chris Get Hard at the Ball House. Oh, I'm gonna assume that one's not for the kids. Uh, that's also on Thursday. Uh, Nation of Language and Gustav are performing at Brooklyn Steel. I thought I thought Giuliani closed that place down. But I'll have to take a note of that, too. Um, at the rooftop on Pier 17 on Friday, you could see uh, what I assume is a world music duo called Coheed and Cambria. Um, there's some wild sounds happening around the world. So, you know, get yourself educated and check out that duo. Uh, Gorilla Biscuits. At White Eagle Hall in Jersey City. That must be a student's band. Ooh, this one. Uh, Sasha Velour presents The Big Reveal. Ooh. At the Victoria Theater in Newark. I'd like to see what Sasha Velour is revealing. Um, and, uh, you know, happy Women's Day to, to her. Murphy's Law. That's a funny name for a band. Uh, yeah, I can assume it's an, a day of Celtic uh, fair at Tompkins Square Park on Sunday afternoon. I love a matinee show. Uh, get home in time for, uh, you know, Jeopardy in the Wheel. And uh, Bongzilla and Skull Shitter are at St. Vitus Bar. Bongzilla and Skull Shitter, Sunday evening in Greenpoint. Uh, it is a, a John Jennell's uh, celebration of women today. You know, some. Some people think that uh, women are just sex objects. Uh, in fact, every time I try to have sex with a woman, she objects. Can't say that on I can't, on the air. I can't, come on, uh, you got to ease up. Uh, 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 who who's your favorite woman besides Woody Allen's child? Oh, right. Oh, yes, um, yes, yes. Said Sorry, I think me, when you said um, that, I wasn't really paying attention. My apologies. I'll do better. I think Bell Hooks is a very wonderful. Oh, Bell Hooks. So you can see Chris Get Hard at Bell Hooks uh, this Thursday. <clears throat> nope. Bell Hooks is a woman. Oh. Not a venue. I, I, I'm unfamiliar with her work. Uh, I'm assuming someone of the, the Gen Z. I think she's actually uh, closer to, to your age, John. Ooh, is she single? I think she's dead. May she rest in peace. You know, we don't really play music on this show anymore. Uh, may uh, whatever his name is, uh, rest in peace. Uh, so uh, I, I, I'm going to ch change format again and maybe check on a potential guest uh, and then play just a little bit of, uh, you know, there's been a lot of dirty language, hopefully the FCC isn't listening but uh this is something from bitches brew if we could say that and uh we'll be right back here on the john gentle show all day long Ooh. it's game day and we're repping hard for team and team this weekend all day long. But as the squad gears up for tailgates and bar action, peep these key moves to keep the party legendary. Smashing boys life! Boom. Underage titans, no need for the hard stuff. Level up with energy drinks. It's all about fueling the beast within. Smashing boys life! Boom. Always roll with a wingman, designated driver or ride share. Offense life! Boom. Remember, alcohol's the teammate, not the opponent. Let's crush it responsibly. In my dog's life! Boom. Hydrate like a savage with H2O. It's the secret sauce to avoiding the next day's hangover. All day life! Boom. All night life! So when you're ready for the big game, raise that cup, but party smart. Pound sign, crush it responsibly. I don't know what any of that meant. All right, uh, we are back to the John Gentle Show, uh, broadcasting all the way around Passaic. I'm your host, John Gentle, and I have a very, 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 very special guest here in the studio. Uh, please welcome Olive. Hi. 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 Welcome to the John Gentle Show. Thanks. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, 
I know you like, I know you, I remember uh, I saw you purchasing a uh, sparkling water. So I just wanted to give you some options here. Oh my, oh there gosh. Go. Um, um, thank, thank you. We have, I got all the flavors in the world. You could actually take, take these home uh, if you'd like. Okay. Okay. Because Thanks, uh, John. I don't. I don't drink water, but uh, there we go. Um, so thank you so much for taking time out of your Sunday morning. John, I know John did you take all those seltzers from, from the student radio office? Yeah. By the way, our, if you hear a voice in your ear, that's our producer, um, uh, Enid. Eva. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, uh, and you, you do probably know each other because you're both students here on campus. Oh. Um. Eva, have we have we have we met before? I don't really hang around campus very much. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh h- how are you doing this morning? Um, I'm I'm doing okay. It's uh it's a little earlier than I than I normally get up, especially on the really? on a Sunday, but uh okay. You know, I you've you've been very generous over the years and um Guilty as charged. So I, uh... <laughs> uh, yeah. I, well, uh, today uh, it is an ode to woman. And if you didn't know this already, you're my favorite woman in the whole wide world. Um, th- I, thanks. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> um, who is your favorite woman in the whole wide world? Who's my who's my favorite woman? Yeah. Oh gosh. Um The topic today is women. Uh-huh. I don't know if you know Hot Lips Hooligan over there. Um I d I don't I don't know who she is. That's not, I mean I She was she was a nurse at the MASH unit over in Korea. Um you might also know her as actor Lorez Sweat. I did some erotic poetry about her last week. That doesn't sound incredibly uh, respectful, John. No, she was. A, I mean, her name is Hot Lips. You know, she can take it. But who's your? We're talking about your favorite woman. Ooh, um. Don't say your mom, because what a see you next Tuesday. That one is. That that makes me uncomfortable. I don't. I don't. Sorry, sorry. We have a different we have a different type of relationship. That's 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 unfair. I know divorce can be uh, uh, tough. I, I don't know if you know this, uh, but Olive is actually um, a family member of mine. Did you did you pick up on that? Yes. So no. Um, how do you two know each other? Well, sort of like a father daughter kind of thing. She's kind my, of. Kind of. She's my ex stepdaughter. So you're not her dad anymore. No, and I was wasn't her dad to begin with. There was a a, a short period about two decades ago where you were my mm-hmm. pride and joy, my everything. I was the the proudest papa uh, for about a year, and uh, you know now you're you're all grown up. Here I am. Now you are a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Does that feel good to hear from my lips? Well, it uh I... You are a woman. Mm-hmm. It feels good coming out of my lips. Because I remember this one. Just a little bitty baby. And and now, you know, you you're all grown up. Uh, I haven't, you know, first I'd like to apologize. Um, you know, I I often, you know, rail on these deadbeat dads. But, you know, there were extenuating circumstances for me not being a bigger part of your life. Mainly that your mom didn't want me to have anything to do with you. Uh, your stepdad, who uh, is a real see you the piece of shit uh he's you know he he was always uh kind of blocking 
me. And, you know, I thought, you know, well, one day you'll, you'll probably come to the City College of Passaic uh, because of, you know, our great alumni program uh, welcoming in students such as yourself, you know, not to not to peel back the curtain, but if you are, uh, you know, the, the child of an alumni here at the school, you have a pretty good chance of getting into the City College. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, I thought, well, eventually you'll come here and we'll be able to cross paths in, in the campus. And, you know, that's really, I want to, I want to interact with, you know, the adult uh, kid. I don't, I don't know, what to Barbies, Power Rangers, whatever. I don't know that stuff, but I do know classic, um, you know, books and art and, uh, you know, I, I I like not having to hold my tongue if I want to say something uh, of a sexual nature. But sadly, for undisclosed reasons, I was not a professor here during your last few years. And now you're a senior and I almost completely missed it, but... I found a way back. My uh, my mentor here at the campus, Erwin Bernard Rosen, uh, he was uh, he he died, and uh, now I run this radio show, and I'm back in your life, and this is this is just everything I could have wanted. Not that my mentor died, but that I'm that you're here. So tell me what's going on in your life, and the listeners. Uh, gosh. Um, well, uh, it's currently my, my senior year. Mm -hmm. I'm in my, taking my last few classes. Um, who, who you got, got Professor Brown? Um, yes, I'm in the, the film studies department. That's so, right. Yeah. Yeah. I have yeah. Brown, I have Professor. He's a Rod's, real he, fuck, fucking we uh, we can I he I don't like him very much either. He uh I I had a I had a, a reel of breakfast at Tiffany's uh, in my office, and uh, when I was asked to leave, I just I didn't have the peace of mind to grab it, and you know when I was kind of poking around and you know looking through blinds and trying to open doors that were mostly locked i i saw that my breakfast at tiffany's reel was now in his office so i might ask you to maybe uh set up a, a teacher student meeting and you know steal it back from me because that was uh i'll i'll um it was important to me i'll i'll see what i can do mm-hmm and speaking of breakfast at Tiffany's, Audrey, uh, it, you, you're you're a freshman on campus, so you know maybe you could kind of learn learn from uh. Do you have any advice for uh you know somebody that's that's are you a freshman? I don't know if I've ever asked you about what you uh, study or do here. Eva, but um, no, I'm I'm actually a second semester um junior. Oh, okay. That, that means you're a real smarty pants, but not as smart as Olive here. Well, that's not. <laughs> I no, no, no. I, 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 trust me. I would go to your house um, and look through the mail just to see how your report cards would be. And this was a, 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 a down the line. And I was just so, uh, so happy to see that. Congratulations on being such a smart kid, Damn. smart woman. Thank, well, thank you. And then, you, so what were some of? Sorry, just I mean, did you, do you guys have like favorite memories together? Um, from when you were not really her dad. Um, I, I was her stepdad. He, for okay, he was my stepdad for a, a year when I was two to. Th Three, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, honestly, I, I, I don't really. I was well, a little maybe, too maybe young. you'll remember this. Uh, we, we went to the land of make believe. Um, this was a, you know, things were not going so well in the marriage. Uh, and uh, no, it was in Hope, New Jersey. Hope, New Jersey. Uh, we, we drove about forty minutes to the land of make believe, and we had such a great day. Your mom was very upset that I kind of took you away 
But, you know, it was just, uh, you know, we didn't have a lot of one-on-one time. But that day, you know, you were a little too small for a lot of the rides. But I snuck you in. I wore a big coat. And, you know, you got to ride some of those faster roller coasters and stuff. And, you know, take a... There's like a, a, a large water slide that I, I, I kind of forced you on. And uh, we had such a great day together. The land of make-believe. And I'm sure that's a nice early memory for you. Was was that the day that that my mom called called the police because you had you had taken me without her permission? It was a misunderstanding, but yeah, the police did get called. But you know, moms sometimes worry, especially your mom who's just a basket case. <clears throat> I mean, te- like technically that. That's, you know, John, that's kidnapping. No, it's not kidnapping. It was your stepdad. I had every right to take you to the land of make-believe. And this was a, a formative memory because you clearly remember at least the police element of the, the whole situation. I mean, that's a story that my mom has has told oh, no. me over the years, but I, I can't say I, I thought remember she'd it. probably keep that from you because it kind of makes me look good. Well, I know she doesn't like making me look good. You know, there's only one kind of love that lasts, and it's unrequited love. That stays with you forever. Woody Allen. But, you know, sometimes you get married to somebody. You have a a fun weekend at the Mount Airy Lodge, and then it's all downhill from there. But I had you. So, you know, I, I, I had always wanted to be a father and it was a wish fulfilled, you know? Your mom would have all these complaints about clammy hands and, you know, wouldn't let me near her sweater hogs at all. And, uh, you know, it was was the physical part of the relationship quickly left, but, you know, now I had this other gift that was, uh, you know, now you're back in my life forever. Um, because you're an adult. Yes. And your mom and your stepdad can't get in the way of our daddy daughter time. Step ex step daddy daughter time. So tell me uh, what 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 kind of films are you are you trying to be a filmmaker? Maybe a film critic? Maybe write for uh, Kahia's Do Cinema. <laughs> Um, I, I'm not really sure yet um, what I, what I want to do. You know what um, you should do? You should read the, the Woody Allen autobiography. Because uh, today is Women's Day. Nobody loves women more than Woody. Uh, um, maybe we, I, I don't want to, I don't want to go there. Well, uh, who, who are your favorite, uh, filmmakers? Um, well, recently, um. Preston Sturges. Um, I just started watching um, Robert Altman movies in class, and I've really been enjoying him. I still haven't seen, well, the movie version. I still haven't seen the movie MASH, but. Mm-hmm. I'm more of a fan of the, the TV show. I, I think I Altman's kind of like, a, you know, I I just love the TV show so much. There's. 10 years of it and then everybody still talks about this Altman movie like it's uh, it doesn't even have Alan Alda in it mm. it has Elliot Gould who is not my Hawkeye it's not my Hawkeye so so you like Altman who else um you like Bell Hooks uh Eva was telling me about this that filmmaker not a film, not a filmmaker. Yeah, that's she's um, she's not she she's a, a writer. Oh, um, okay, but you know one of the the, the new faces in in cinema. Well, you, if you're if you're in the film pro, you must be working on your your final project. So maybe it would yes, be I Alan am. Morse is the the hot new filmmaker. Maybe what the hot new filmmaker? Me? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Uh, no. <laughs> 
Well, I, I, I don't know where you are with, you know, final project, but I actually have several unproduced screenplays. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, well, so maybe needed, sometime I'll, I'll take a look at them. them. Yeah. Yeah. I've made all sorts of other kinds of movies in my life, but I don't think you make those kinds of films. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I do. Eva, you're a woman. Uh, do Do you have any uh, uh, favorite filmmakers you'd recommend? Maybe a, a female. Sorry, I just. Um, what other kinds of films have you made, porno, John? Point like private porno films with like a. Uh, well, actually, your mother, early on. Oh God! There's probably something, and if you don't go through the VHS collection, trying to find, you know, uh, some 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 gems, you'll 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 find a, some real gems. Are there. you serious? Yeah. <sighs> you know, it was the '90s. We were everybody had their camcorders out for all sorts of reasons. You know. What do you what do you want to do this summer? I'm uh I'm sorry, what? What do you want to do this summer? Oh, um Have you ever taken the Great American Road Trip? I haven't. Maybe that's a thing that we can do. Um, you know, there's there's so much beauty in this country. Uh you and me we can rent an RV and we can kind of drive from city to city. Of course I will have my radio show to do, so I would probably fly back uh um to do that to come here. Uh, but and then I'd fly right back to whatever city uh, that you were you were in. And uh you know, that could be a, a whole summer's worth of activity. Let's um And I know you're probably like we're just I don't getting... want to hang out with my ex stepdad all summer. He's an old guy, but trust me I would actually try to find the young people too and sort of ingratiate myself with uh, young people in different cities. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of pe people think that the East Coast is where it's all happening, but there's a lot of uh, artistic uh, uh, hubs all throughout the country um, that I've heard of. I've never actually I've left the, the Northeast, but uh, it would be fun to have somebody in my family to do it with. Not do, not do, not do it with. <sighs> Take a road trip. Um, I'm sorry. When it, when is the last time that you guys saw each other? Just trying to get. Um, saw each other yeah. or me see her? Because I've seen her a lot, but I don't know if she always sees me. I guess I guess I mean um like mutually. She must have been shop right about four years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I saw I saw the car in the parking lot, and I just kind of raced around the aisles. And uh, I saw you, you and your mother. Uh, you, well, you, you were like a in high school mm -hmm. probably then, but uh, you you were getting stuff, and uh, it was really great. You know, I I kind of put my foot on the cart so she couldn't uh, not uh, put you know push through, and I wound up falling over, and all these cans. Fell, fell on it kind of like it looked like this a little bit yeah uh you know a bunch of tuna fish cans falling all over me the egg was on my face it was, it was probably not the 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 nicest reconciliation and you know we didn't uh speak but that was the last time i saw you uh last time you saw me so I'd see you oh i don't know if you should be saying like saying this this sounds um you know real sad are you how are you doing well you know post 9 11 hasn't been good for me but uh you know i'm kind of on the up and up with this radio show um you know i'm kind of reaching my people uh again if if you want to call in and talk about your favorite woman i don't see any of these um i don't really know how to work this machine but maybe uh um, Anita can come in and you know, take a look at the board but it, you said there would be a flashing red light in none of these so there's like a, a green lights mostly I, I just think given the time it's it's very unlikely for um, any um, awake right, person we, to we, call in we are you know we, we only have 10 minutes left in the, in the show but uh, I just I just want to say I really appreciate you coming here and 
you know, I'd be lying if I said that kind of part of my scheme to get back in the campus um, was kind of motivated uh, by, you know, getting to be part of your life. And it's sweet. It's not weird. Everything's all better between us. I mean, I, I don't know if I would say all better, but it's it's a, it's a start. What what can I do? I need to be a bigger part of your life, first off. I know that. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you do. I, I honestly, I can't say right now where you would fit in my life. Um, Dad, too. Mm, no, I I have I I I have one of those. I I have a a second dad, um, a really man good. who's been really good to me. Yeah. For the last fifteen years. Yeah. Um. So I I not good to me. So want your back. Well, I I mean. None of the past matters with them, and I think this is a clean slate. This conversation here between you and I and my student producer and the uh, people listening to the radio show. So uh, maybe we can do like a, a Sunday dinner sort of thing. I can make pasta plain. That's how I like it. I don't know how you take yours. Hmm. But, you know, like every Sunday you come over and I'll... I don't, that seems a little, um, I don't know if we bland. should make... If... Well, you know, sometimes I'll put like a little butter in there. But the butter actually messes with my stomach. Um, and I kind of like when they clump together. You know, hmm. I just put the spaghetti in all at once and, you know, we can kind of cut that in half. And, you know, it's sort of like a lasagna type thing. I don't think that's what, that's not what lasagna is. It's pasta on top of pasta. <laughs> so we'll do like every Sunday, maybe. At, uh... um, how about maybe, um, maybe we can go to the movies sometime wow you know there, there's actually a we were talking about french new wave but there's a little french new wave thing happening at film forum mm. yeah okay oh i'm banned oh well if you're gonna show erotic cinema things are gonna happen oh john Last Tango in Paris is an erotic movie, so we'll we'll, we'll maybe we'll go to uh, anthology film archives or, or something, and maybe kind of, you know, I I like to go to the libraries and kind of check out some movies there. Mm -hmm. But this is good. Yeah, it's it means so much to me that you're back permanently in my life, and you know, I'm just uh, I'm a better man for it, and that's what today's episode is all about being a better man uh you got big plans for the rest of the day i'm gonna find something somewhere to put all these seltzers if you need a bag you can take my russian daughter's bag oh no i i wouldn't i can just try and fit them into my bag <laughs> okay yeah um well this has been so great um, yeah thank you for being here on the john gentle show thank you to my producer what's your name again thank you eva thank you Thank you, Olive. And uh, uh, you're listening to the City College of Passaic, the John Gentle Show, the longest running show here on this network. Uh, thank you for listening. I'm John Gentle. Or Dad. Can you toss me one of these sparkling waters? Oh, sure. What's your, what flavor? Plain. Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not a sport person. Almost a dream of mine almost came true. A dream I dreamed of me and you almost once. That'll almost do Feelings that I felt Were almost new A lonely life A lonely
Almost a chance 